subscribe, like, comment, and hit the notification bell. Good morning, friends. How are y'all? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brandy, and I follow WW. And if you're returning, I highly appreciate you. And good morning, Caroline. <laughs> or is it Carolyn? Probably Carolyn, huh? So like I said, I followed WW. I have for over two years now. There was a short instance where I counted calories, but that didn't work out for me. So I went back to WW when the chan, chan, ugh, when the plans changed. However, all of this year since January, I've been set to maintenance because I've been trying to work out more and lift more weights and build some muscle. But that changed as of yesterday. Today is Tuesday. Yesterday, I set my app to weight loss mode. I'm reverting back to weight loss mode. I went and had a DEXA body screen. And needless to say, I wasn't very happy with the results at all. More to come on that in a uh, workout life update video. It may already be posted. If so, I'll put it in the description. But I'm not sure how I'm going to release these videos. So, <sighs> but yeah, so I'm back in weight loss mode. So with that said, I now, rather than 30 points a day, I get 23 points a day and I get 28 weeklies. I do um, allow myself to eat my active points as well. So like yesterday I lifted weights and I got five points for lifted weights and then two points for like my walking and my steps. So I got an extra um, seven points. However, I think yesterday I ended the day out with 23. No, I ended the day out with 27 points. So I had to dip into my active and weeklies, but Anyway, today's a due day, and I'm going to try to keep it as close to 23 as I can going forward, at least for a few weeks. So let's see how I'm going to do. But I have a pretty low point breakfast, so let's get started. And I'm not for sure what's for lunch or dinner yet. My husband's actually out of town all week, so I'm trying to cook as little as possible. I picked up some, like, refrigerated meals from Trader Joe's and whatnot, and then I got a rotisserie chicken. So just things to make it really easy and convenient. So I am filling hot coffee today. So that's what I'm gonna do. This is a little bit of monk fruit sweetener and it's zero points. I like it a lot better than stevia or anything. I use it for baking. I use it in the place of sugar anytime I'm using sugar. So I just put about a tablespoon in the bottom of my cup. Ah, there you go. Isn't this so cute? I love seasonal mugs. I'm not sure what flavor coffee. I typically prefer unflavored coffee, just like regular and use creamers to flavor it. But my husband likes flavored, so he buys all these. So I'm gonna go with the s'mores. Although I did have a pumpkin, a vanilla pumpkin the other day, and it was so delicious. But a friend had given us that, so I don't have any more. So, let me get this going. I'm just going to add a little bit of my friend's creamer to that. I think hazelnut mocha will go well with s'mores, or at least I'm hoping. <laughs> Pretty good. And I didn't add very much, so I'm not even going to count a point today for that. I didn't add uh, almond milk or anything else like with calories. So I'm going to give myself coffee and you can see it's not very dark. So I didn't even add a tablespoon. And then over here, I have two pieces of this Kirkland 40 uh, fully cooked bacon heating up for two. Uh, it's three points for two slices. So a little high. I wouldn't repurchase this. It's good, but there's lower point bacon out there. Once that get crispy, I'm just gonna add two scrambled eggs. So I've got two eggs. I'm just gonna scramble up real quick. There we go. Let these cook. A one point low carb tortilla. These are my second favorite. I do prefer the carb counter. I just put it directly on top of the eggs to warm them up. I'm actually gonna turn it off. 
pour it directly out onto the plate. So that will be my four point breakfast taco. Quite hearty. Top it with some paste. Just a little. And paste is zero points as well. Come on. Just a little. That's it, friends. Zero points. And that will be super filling. I just said zero points. <laughs> that is not accurate. So there is my four-point breakfast. Three for the bacon and one for the tortilla. I'm just outside watering my garden. And I located my first zucchini. Oh, there's actually, there's two zucchinis right there. How cool. And I have a ton of banana peppers. I think I'm going to try to do a Mississippi roast. They're all back there. I've never had that many. And I also have a lot of these little, like, I think there's some sort of Thai chili. But that plant has a lot too. Rio, get down. I'm also trying to grow cantaloupe. I don't have any growing yet. Uh, no zucchini on that plant. But looky here. This is my bell pepper that I've been waiting to pick, right? A critter got it. And yesterday it had another really big bell pepper and the whole stem was like laying in the back and it ate it all. I'll put a, put a picture up. But then my jalapeno bush. Got some nice big jalapenos. I'm like wishing the little animal would eat that and leave my bell peppers alone. And my tomatoes are still blooming too. So my garden's doing better now than it was. A lot of times when I get to work, I want to have a cup of coffee, but I don't want any more sugar or cream. So I'm actually having a cup of Earl Grey tea, mainly for the caffeine. And I have my 34 ounce water bottle filled and I'll probably finish that before lunch. This was so delicious for lunch, but I will say it was a little heavier on the points than I thought it would be. It was nine points for the lunch. You know, you wake up. Okay, friends, I am in my car heading home. Sorry, the sun's like right in my face. But I didn't get time for an afternoon snack. Usually around four, I like to have a snack, but I had a meeting. So I'm going to have this uh, Persian mini cucumber and then the cutest little banana and i just like my bananas this size i guess i'm not a huge banana lover and i just like a little but i'm intentionally having zero point snacks because my lunch was nine points that was yummy and it did keep me full i'm a little annoyed that weight watchers charged me nine points for 290 calories and i felt like it was healthy but i guess it's because the dressing had added sugar in it and it was a little higher in carb, but honestly, I didn't think it was that bad. It had chicken, couscous, um, arugula, so I don't know, but it is what it is. But I have no idea what's for dinner, so let's get going. I have recently up <laughs> upgraded my pups to be in the laundry room some days. So then I get to see them. Yeah, let's go outside. Let's go. Hi, Ash. I love you. Yeah, so now they get to stay in the laundry room. And they've been very good boys. Very good. Bring me a toy. I know. Look at all your toys. I know. Okay. Now I'm going to put down my bag. Ah. Hi, Mio. <laughs> they made a mess in here today. Oh, no. Hang on. Don't step on the vacuum. Go around it. I was trying to block the vacuum with this makeshift. I was like trying to stop it, <laughs> but apparently that didn't work because it gets stuck when that gate's closed. So I got to figure out something. We just need to change the schedule so that it's not trying to clean in here during the day. Let's go outside. I know you need to go potties. Run, 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 run. 
I want to go check on the status of my bell pepper. See if the critters had any more snack today. Plop, womp, womp. No, nope, looks like the same amount. So it didn't have any more. I'm tempted to pull it off, but I mean, what's the point now? Asher, show them how fast you run. Mark, get set, go. <laughs> that wasn't very fast. Hi, Rio. Where you at? Here's Rio. You want to play ball? Give me your ball. So I need to determine what I'm going to have for dinner. I know, just putting away my dishes. I have a rotisserie chicken that I haven't got into yet. So I'm probably gonna eat the breast without the skin and that is zero points. And then I also have some leftover roasted Brussels sprouts. I think I should have that too. But the thing is, tonight is not a workout night. So if I wanted to cook an easy dinner, tonight is the night. So I could say, the rotisserie chicken for like the next two nights, Wednesday and Thursday, I gotta work out. So that would like be a huge time saver. But I don't know, I can't decide what I want. Like even if I had to cook tonight, make something, when I say cook, I'm talking about like air fryer. Like I said, my husband is out of town and when he's out of town, very little cooking goes on because I cook a lot. So it's nice to have a, a, a break every now and again. So I just have to figure out what I'm wanting. Hmm, can't figure it out. But let me get these dishes to put away and then I'll be back to show you dinner. It's already 6.10, so I'm getting hungry too. While I was putting away my dishes, I figured I'd do a shameless little plug. These three items, this um, to-go container, this small bowl and this plate, they're all from the brand Uba. They had sent me some stuff to try a while back i can link that video but i absolutely love my containers the thing about these is they have measurements on the inside so this one these ones i usually use just to store food in. i don't use it for the measurement purpose but i do like it's like that it's there i really do like them and then the bowl has the measurements as well and the bowl i do like if i'm eating popcorn or chips or nuts even, it's fairly accurate. I've like weighed stuff and then tried it out. But more recently, I've actually started using my divided plate a lot more. It's to portion things accurately. So, or if you just have a picky eater, this comes in handy. So shameless plug there, but I do enjoy my stuff and everything's always linked in the description. I will also have my one year review about my caraway fans coming up here soon after uh, Black Friday. I bought them last Black Friday. Not sponsored. That would have been nice. No, sir. Here is what my microwave dinner is looking like. These are roasted Brussels sprouts left over from another dinner. They're just cut in half. I put them in the oven at 425 with salt and pepper and garlic powder. I really like them that way. And this is rotisserie chicken from Costco. I heat it up with the skin on just so it stays moist, but I'm not gonna eat it. It's not the full breast, some of it's missing, but I didn't weigh it, but if I had to guess, it's probably about five ounces. And then, so, so far that's all zero. And then I just microwave some of this roasted chicken. If you have a cup, it's seven points, but I don't want to spend that on rice. Rice is not really something I like love. So you can have 100 grams for four points. So that's what I'm going to do. So I just put it on my scale and tore it. Oh, wow, that's 68 grams. I don't even know if I'll need more than that. I may toggle this down. Hang on. I'm going to see how much three points is because I don't like a lot of rice. Okay, you can have 78 grams for three points, and I'm at 80, so I'm just going to take a little bit out. Okay, 77 grams, we will call that good, and this will be leftovers. 
So this is my three point dinner, easy peasy. Not the most, you know, earth shattering. Oh my God. Ash, you gotta calm down. He just pushed that. Oh, sorry. He just pushed. He just came in and pushed that whole table. You see that rug? That was his fault. <laughs> Where are you? It was your fault. Yeah. Was it your fault? Was it your fault? Say never, mom. Never. <laughs> it was it little man's fault. Whose fault? <laughs> it was definitely him. I saw him run in. When a big dog goes crazy dog, it can be bad. But I am going to go sit in front of the TV with my plain Jane boring three point dinner. But you know, sometimes that's just the way the cookie crumbles. And I feel like when you're on weight loss, that's just like how it has to be, right? I mean, not every dinner is gonna be like fantastic. Don't get me wrong. You can be on weight loss and make some fantastic dinners. But if you wanna just stick with your pan and have the most success, be okay with always not having five-star dinners. I'd much rather have Chick-fil-A, don't get me wrong, but I'll make this work. And I still have seven points, which I'll probably have a little ice cream tonight. We'll see. I sure. Are you trying to rip mama's arm off? And Rio's gonna take over that for mama. Okay. I finished dinner and it was actually really good. The chicken was like really moist. So not bad at all. But I, when I was eating it, I felt like it was very satisfying and I, I was super satiated. But that was about 45 minutes ago. And now I swear I feel like my stomach's growling. It may just be mental, but I do have seven points left for the day. I know I at least want to eat three of those. I bet that was a bad angle. But I could even eat all seven if I wanted to, but I'm just trying to decide what I want. I kind of feel like something snacky. I wish I had some popcorn. Actually, you know what? I do have popcorn. I just don't know if it's stale. Let me go look. I am trying to do a little quick meal plan for the rest of the week. I didn't meal plan this week and it's throwing me off. I just like bought a few convenience items, but now I'm trying to think it through since I'm working tomorrow night. Or not working. I'm working out Wednesday and Thursday night. So, I'm trying to figure it out. I have, so I just jotted down some of the things. I have a leftover sausage link. I have more rotisserie chicken. I have these convenience faux bowls. I have a bag salad. And I have lobster bisque. So, but this lobster bisque is like insanely high points. So, I think I'm going to uh, eat it as... Just like a side to like rotisserie chicken or something. But I know this Fulbo I want tomorrow. I don't know. I'm just trying to pre-track my points since I went back to weight loss mode. When I was at 30 points a day, I don't feel like I had a plan as much as I will have to now. But on days I work out, I want to eat more points those days. So actually tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and have a bagel for dinner. So that will be, bagels like, I think it's like 10 points with the cream cheese. So that together is 18 points. And then that leaves me what? Five points for lunch plus a snack. So I have this TV dinner that's four points. So I may eat that one. And then on Thursday, I want to eat my lobster bisque. Bisque. And so I need to have these super low in points. So this morning, I'll eat a cottage cheese bowl. Yeah. What can I have for lunch? That's, oh, I can have my salad with my rotisserie. So that's good. And then I'll eat the rest of the salad on that day. And then Friday for breakfast, I will probably have a egg bowl with mushrooms. I know this seems random, sorry guys. And then Friday night, I'm probably gonna go out. So that actually gets quite a bit of my leftovers except the sausage link. 
But I don't really need to be eating that anyways. If I have to, I will, but I'm going to try not to. Like, if I don't like this lobster bisque because it's, like, pre-made, then I'll sub it out. But that's a rough plan, and that should keep me within my points. I also just remembered that, whoa, it is, sorry about that. I just remembered that tomorrow is Wednesday, and Wednesday is trash day. Usually, oh my goodness, <laughs> I'm giving y'all a headache probably. Um, usually trash day is my husband's chore, but since he is out of town, I need to go wheel my trash can to the front of the house. And then tomorrow after work, I got to hurry up and wheel it back to the back of the house or else my HOA will send me a mean letter. Does anyone else have that? I actually haven't gotten one yet, but it's funny. Um, we had a storm a while, like a couple weeks ago and the storm was on... The day after trash day, like that same day. Yeah, the storm was like that night. They literally gave people notices the very next day. Like they drove around and was like, your trash can's in your walkway. Well, yeah, because it was storming and they just pulled it up real quick. It's funny. Like someone got a letter and their trash can was like down the road. It's like, uh, yeah, because the storm did that. I didn't do that. <laughs> But whatever, I get it. So I'm going to go do that and get the mail. And I still haven't decided on my snack. This is my house decorated for Halloween. We have the little lights up there. And then we have the little flashing lights in the bushes too. And some creepy baby dolls. My skeleton says, hi friends. See, it's waving. <laughs> Rookie mistake. I forgot to actually take out the indoor kitchen trash before I put the trash can on the curb. <laughs> we also have that skeleton up there. I like that one though. He's like hiding. Creepy. Creepy. <laughs> okay, I am going for a hopefully four point dessert. This is the Halo Top just chocolate. It's not my favorite. I prefer just the vanilla, but I wanted to give it a go and try it. And I can have 87 grams for three points or 114 grams for four points. I'm trying to go for 87 for three and I think it'll be plenty. Yeah, I'm not, I don't need a huge serving of ice cream. So that is 84. That's enough for me. That's a good bit. And then I'm also going to do this nut topping for some added crunch. And you can have seven grams of these for one point. So that is definitely what I'm going to do. Seven grams of the nut topping is a lot as well. Whoops, I went one gram over. I will get them off, I promise. Telling you, when I'm in weight loss mode, I'm in weight loss mode. Okay, so that's my little four-point ice cream treat. I remembered I had cherries, so I did go ahead and add a cherry, a tiny bit of zero sugar Hershey syrup for zero points, and then low fat, is it low fat or fat free? Let's look. Let's take a look, but it's all, look. All my little added toppings do not add points. So it's fat free. So I did just a small squirt of that ready whip. And then I also added the tiniest drizzle of this Hershey's zero sugar as well for zero points. And one cherry. I believe these are zero points. They may be a point, but it's only 10 calories. So it's a freebie. And my, it's a freebie if I only have one. If I have two, then I'd count it as a point. I'm not charging myself a point for 10 calories. Even when I'm in like strict weight loss mode. So I had success with doing that in the past. And if you're curious, I have a video about rules I do not follow. But as always, you should follow and do what works for you. So that is it, friends. I am ending the day with da-da-da. 
So I am ending the day with 20 points exactly. Woohoo! So I get to roll over three for tomorrow, which is great because I think my meals tomorrow will be a little heavier, especially when I have that lobster bisque. I'm going to have to think about that because the lobster biscuits tell me is 26 points. 26. I'm going to eat it as long as it's not nasty. But I don't know if I want to try to really work my points super low that day and only splurge on the lobster bisque, or I don't know if I want to like justify the calories that don't equal the points because it's only like 500 calories. So that's Weight Watchers, but Weight Watchers work, so I'm torn. But that's it. Good night, friends. Bye.